I'm a Dorothy Brown and Mrs. and my husband, Jim. Yeah. How can we help you? Dorothy Branning, I'm sorry to have to tell you there's been a complaint. We have to arrest you for the assault of Dotty Cotton. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which should be my own in court. And anything you do say will be given in evidence. I'm sorry, Mrs. Branning, you're going to have to come with us. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, he's good. It's all right, it's all right. I'll call it up. No, how can I arrest our dog? She's the one you should be arresting. She's the murderer around here. You evil cow! That's a mistake. A stupid mistake. What's she supposed to have done anyway? You all right, Bradley? Well, no, his grandma's just been arrested. What do you think? Look, why don't we just go outside and get some air? You know what? For a minute there, I thought we were coming for Ronnie. Well, where is Ronnie? I said to get some more champagne. OK, I'll look, shall I? No, you stay behind the bar, I can't do you? <coughs> can't breathe. That's right. They weren't there for you, were they? Where are you going? Police station. See if I can get Dot out. We think you can do that. Just take care of Dad, yeah? Right, Lee, I've got you some water. Dot's going to be out in no time, all right? How are you feeling? You want a cup, sir? No. No, I think I'll be all right. You'll be fine, Brady. Just get home. Hey. You guys are finished with your uh, quality time. Can I see him for some quality time, that way? Yeah, of course you can. Right, go on, you guys should go home. As soon as I hear anything about Dot. Where are you off to? Oh, someone's looking after Dot and me old man on her own, so. Okay, can help? That's all right, that's fine. I would help you, but I'm knackered. Yeah, I'd be happy to help out. Right, okay. Well, in that case, yeah, it'd be great, thanks. It's something to do with you, isn't it? Sorry? Dot Browning, my stepmum. Now, what were you hoping to achieve, sending in uniform? Or some miracle spontaneous murder confession? Why are you offering me one? <laughs> it's low. All right, dragging a 70-year-old woman into custody out of her own party because you want to rattle a few of your suspects. I mean, why do you need to resort to something as tenuous as that? You got your new witness? Or have you? All right, here, yeah, just as I thought. Desperate measures, eh? You don't have anything at all. Wait! Oh. I have to tell you something. Janine, don't! I've got information. It's about Ronnie Mitchell. Don't be careful leaving that door open. You would have fought next to Copper. What's all that for? You shouldn't be here. Oh, I was worried about you. All this stuff about Ronnie. We should get back to Dad. Dodge just getting out. So what's that stack of cash for? You don't want to know. So it's loving orange juice, and uh, I'll have a Well, isn't this cosy? Look, why don't you go? There's nothing for you here. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong. I got a call today from the lab. They found a new forensic profile amongst the blood on Archie's clothing. So it's a good job you did come back. Don't stray too far again, will you? I'm going to be keeping a close eye on all of you over the next few days. What is it? Whose blood is it? A new suspect. Or perhaps a new witness to confirm a suspect we already have. We'll be starting a screening process straight away. Looks like we're about to find out who really killed Archie Mitchell.